on financial trading down to see about time for the trade in the morning. Uh, Mr. Nutman, we're following up on a Bolero trade here. Last time we talked, uh, you guys were looking at what, like a $90 breakout target? Well, it's been trading between 80 and 90 now for more than two months. So if we can break out above 90, then that sends us to 100. Let's remember this was a $120 stock just in October uh, before that big drop from the top that we've seen in all the energy energy stocks. So I'm looking for uh, oil to rebound here. As we've talked about, that $60 level in crude has been critically important. It's the midpoint pivot of that drop from the top. And we got above that last week for the first time in you know in many many months whereas the stock market if you look at it, it's almost the same charts whereas the stock market did that mid january so i think there's more more legs in the in the energy sector all right now alan uh i know that uh, the technical discussion i think it was in january we first talked uh valero you mentioned the support around 70 bucks crude has come back since then um, is this company doing something specific to its own chart, its own, uh, you know, trading patterns, or is this just a, a big oil trade? Uh, it's, it's a big oil trade, but it's also a technical trade. So we're seeing a compressed spring here, just trading sideways for, for many, many weeks. And uh, eventually there's going to be a breakout. So uh, looking for this to, to push the upside, path of least resistance higher as crude continues to, to move. We've had a big bounce off this bottom. So what I'm looking at is an in-the-money call. Uh, you talked about that 80 as a support. So the $80 call for May, so it's got two months of time. My uh, uh, options volume indicator is, is seeing a lot of activity, some smart money going in. So I'm looking for something to happen in the next couple weeks. But because volatility is still relatively low, I'm buying two months of time instead of one. So I've got some extra time to be right. All right. Uh, how would you uh, hedge this? I mean, if you wanted to, Alan, do you, because um, I know this is, uh, you know, a sub- you know, group within energy, basically. We're talking refiners here. Uh, lately, some of the excitement has right. been more in the, you know, exploration and production companies and whatnot. But I mean, do you want to get any uh, either short crude or any kind of other, you know, part of this trade to make sure you don't get burned if all of a sudden, uh, you know, crude joins stocks and it goes under pressure? Well, number one, this is an in-the-money option. So we're trading about 85. This option's trading for about 650 right now. So it's five dollars in the money. So it's going to behave like the stock. It's a stock substitution strategy that ties up a lot less money. Number two, the inherent risk here, the maximum risk is what we pay in premium. Now, mathematically, you could put in a stop loss at half of what you pay because if it, an option loses half of its value, oftentimes uh, either the market's gone the other way or you're running out of time. And those are the two things working against you. So I'm leaning on that $80 level of support. I have the right to be long from that level. So I'm comfortable with this position and this position uh, and if something doesn't happen in the next couple of weeks, you can always pitch it aside and you, you've lost maybe 50 cents in time value. So I like this as a strategy as much as I do the stock as a way to position myself for an upside breakout that I, I'm looking for to happen or that's what the options markets are suggesting may happen. Yeah. All right. I like it. Alan, thanks for the update. Thanks for the trade. I'm going to continue following up you. on it. Doing pretty well since we first talked about it uh, a couple months back. Alan Nockman is the chief market strategist at Agora Financial. We'll be right back. Let's go.